Greetings Crusaders, my name is Fury and welcome back once more to some Mass Effect 1. We are here just hovering in space because I can. No. I'm here over in the Maroon Sea Cluster because we ended up getting a few scouting missions I guess to do out here. And I found a new system that I have not been to yet apparently so that's kind of neat. Uh, there's a trace atmosphere of carbon dioxide and helium indicating the uh, oxidized us we'll see here. They were the relative youth of the blue star, Caspian the significant gravity well of funerary. This must have occurred with astonishing swiftness. Perhaps the result of some cataclysmic event. Further research is required. Probably something neat on this planet. Heavy metals. Nice. Not what I wanted, but sure. I've also not been finding anything in the uh whatchamacallit in the the asteroid belts. There's not much out there actually. Clotance is a large but low-density terrestrial world with an atmosphere of nitrogen and carbon monoxide. Its crust is composed of sulfur and unremarkable silicates. Occasional deposits of heavy metals, usually the results of meteor strikes on the uh, dot on the surface. High-speed winds, powered by the hot blue star, presents a constant hazard. Atmosphere entry is hazardous, and EVAs are discouraged, aka a planet we should never go to. Plus, we got some more metals, so I'll take it. This planet was the last one to be surveyed, I believe. And to uh. Antida is a standard hydrogen helium gas giant. Its atmosphere is darkened by traces of sodium. It is one of the relatively few planets known with an or orbitable period uh, more than a millennium. Damn! And a Turian insignia, nice! Scans of Antida reveal a group of defunct turrets orbiting the planets. The recon team carefully retrieved one of the turrets and brought it on board. Tally dismantled the weapon and found it was marked with the Carthan outpost insignia. Dude, you would be amazed probably by how many different alien species have their marks on some of the stuff in the galaxy, man. Alma Crux has an atmosphere of methane and ethane. Despite the great distance from Caspian, an energetic young star heats the surface almost temperate levels. Thick ground fogs are common at the Terminator, where water ice frozen during the long dark side. Night meets the warm air masses from the day side. The crust is mainly composed of copper with deposits of sodium. Alma Crux abundant water and relatively mild temperature and gravity have placed it on the short list of terraforming candidates. Nice! Uh, however, there is significant opposition from eco-ethics groups who assert the Alma Crux's primitive methanthropic bacteria may be a precursor to a full-fledged native ecology. Ah, alright, I see where that's going. So they don't want them doing anything with that planet because it could mess up if there's a brand new alien species that could just pop up out of nowhere there. You know, that makes sense. Alright, so let's check out the ship quick, see what this is all about. The cornucopia. Um, I don't know if I've investigated this before, but we'll take a peek. Uh, Tally, Garrus, this one's on you. Was I here before? I don't know if I was. I'll take a peek. I don't think I was. Hey, though, you never know. This is all new to me, so we'll take a gander. I do not like the dust particles in the air. That's concerning. What the frick? Oh, wait. Yeah, I've been here. Oh, shit, I haven't been here! Holy fuck! The ship's probably crawling with them. Ooh, retreat! Retreat, Tally! Retreat, Tally! Retreat! <laughs> Holy hell! That scared the ever-living bejeebies out of me! Oh my god! Oh, that was terrifying! I <laughs> just round the corner, and here's the goddamn husk looking at my face. Ooh, I hate these things! Well, I think we can confirm the crew is most definitely... Duh, fuck you, dead! Ah, oh, yeah, the crew's gone. Whatever happened here, man? Who was messing with husks? Oh dear God! Oh, somebody was either messing with Reaper tech or something else happened here. Jesus. Well. Rest in peace to the crew. There's no one left aboard. Just these things that now we have to go clean up. I don't want anybody else finding this ship and 
discovering a plethora of these things just roaming about. Ugh. I mean, they're not as horrifying, in my opinion, as the Thorian, but they're still bad. Got one! Tear them up! Ay, 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 ay. Nothing of importance over here, I take it. I'm just looking around, because, man, this place is fucking loaded. I made a mistake coming over here. Fall back. God, Tally, thank God. You know what makes me happy? Husks cannot grab you. Although that actually be creepy as hell. Thanks, Tally. Thanks, Garrus. What are you doing over there, buddy? Yeah, whatever you were doing, you're not doing it anymore. He was just spinning in circles. You're spinning my head right round, right round. In a room. Yeah, this crew ain't alive anymore. My god. Alright, I think we got all of them. I think the ship's cleared. At least I'm hoping this boat is clear. One way to find out. Open sesame. Doesn't look like anybody's here. Anything here? Well, here's the crew deck. Navigation computer. According to the log files, the ship was out near the Perseus Vale. Looks like they found some kind of alien artifact. Oh no. They brought it on board and then this is really weird, Shepard. They plotted a course straight into the Perseus Vale, like they wanted the Geth to find them. Jesus, is is that all? What else did the logs say? The entries don't make a lot of sense after that. It's like the captain's mind was falling apart. I don't see anything about how they got back into human territory. That's not good. The Geth turned them into husks and left the ship where someone would find it, trying to show us what happens to anyone who goes into the veil. That's horrible. According to they brought it that artifact. The Geth turned them into husks. Oh my god, so this is like a response to anybody trying to get in the veil. Aww. Yep. Yep. Yeah, the crew is dead. They're gone. Jesus. Well, at least we don't need to worry about what happened in this section. Now we know what happened on this boat. That's still horrible. All those people probably losing their minds, but that artifact they found, huh? Assault rifle. Kill off Avenger. New weapons. Yay. Probably can't even use this one. Ah, that one's getting closer to what I want, but... There's also a new pistol, I think? Hmm. Tally, do you need a new pistol? No? Alright. Let's get out of here. I don't want to be uh, on board this sh creepy ship any longer than I already have to be. No, thank you. Not even for the long dead captain of this ship. God. <clears throat> I don't know what it is, man, but husks just... They have that creepy vibe. The Flood don't even... And I love the Flood from Halo, but the Flood don't even give me that much of a creepy vibe as much as husks do. I don't know why. I don't know why that is. Believe me, I really don't. They just do. Maybe it's the uncanny... The scream that the husks make? I don't know, man. It just freaks me out. Alright, let's go to the next one. We're done in this sector. Nothing much to see here. Uh, over to the Matano system now. We'll check that one. Maybe we'll find something good. Oh god, there's a lot of systems out here. What are we looking for? Metallic asteroid? Nice. 
Um, metal asteroid, we'll grab that. Heavy metals, thank you. Uh, Chaska. This is a planet we can land on. Ooh, that's a pretty planet. Large but low density world, fundamentally similar to its inner neighbor, Inti. Like Inti, Chaska is tidally locked to Matano. The same side always faces the sun, resulting in the scorching day side and the frozen night side, and the temperature areas around the Terminator temperatures of average around 30 Celsius. Ooh. Combined with nitrogen oxygen atmosphere, this slender band habit. Oh. A uh, slender band of habitable terrain allows limited colonization by humans. Is unique, it appears to be, for lack of a better term, a massive piece of alien insulation art. Nice. The rings are made of small pieces of synthetic material and are almost invisible from space. From the ground, they catch and scatter the light of Matano in a picturesque ways. It is not known who created the ring or when. Chaska is very early development, with little more than a few pioneers' teams scattered across the surface. Information is being collated about native hazards and ecology while the massive colonists' recruiting drive is gearing up back on Earth. Cool! So, colony 2183, population 150. Nice. So that's one of the planets we gotta go to. Oppo! Nothing on this one. Craig, a world of uh, igneous and basaltic mountains, Apo is wrecked by constant geological activity. While volcanic hotspots are rare, continental plates are constantly piling up in new mountains, subjecting old ones or causing slips along transform faults. Not a planet I want to be on. Apo is a dense atmosphere composed of nitrogen and carbon monoxide. Due to the constant earthquakes and landslide activity, surface exploration is not advised. The rebel-covered wrecks of half a dozen expeditionary ships stand in mute testament to the planet's instability. Damn. Even the log is just like, nope, don't go here. Not a planet you want to see. Inti. Now this is a barren wasteland. A terrestrial planet with an atmosphere composed of ammonia and helium. Its surface is mainly composed of sodium oxide with deposits of magnesium. Its density is rather low, leaving the planet tide locked to Matano. Inti is an unremarkable world, drawing little more than a curious cursory scan for surface pirate. Ah, great. Anchorages when Alliance patrols enter the system. Of course there'd be pirates there. I should have guessed. Uh, Chaska, what about Ilapa? Or Lapa? Oh, that's, that's a planet you can't go to. Uh, as a hydrogen helium gas giant with an unusual ruby color caused by contaminants in the atmosphere, the world has over 120 moons, one of the highest totals of all known in the system. Once full development of Chaska Colony begins, a helium-3 refining infrastructure will be developed on Lapa system, concentrating the large ice moon of Canaria. Nice! That's actually kind of cool. Creepy how that planet glows red, but it's also beautiful. And Supe, the final planet over here has the composition of an ice dwarf planet, but is unusually large for such a body. It has a trace atmosphere of Krypton and Xenon. The frozen surface is dotted with deposits composed of potassium and light metals brought to the surface by cryovolcanic processes. Supe's ice surface was often used as a source of, uh, of potable water by passing merchant vessels. <laughs> Since the Alliance claimed the inner system world of Chaska, satellites placed in orbit automatically bill any vessels landing on the world for the mass water removed from the surface. Ah, yes. Even in space, you still get billed for just grabbing a cup of water. <laughs> Exogeny has a difficult time keeping these uh, satellites operational. They often meet with accidents caused by impact or jettison ship debris. Hmm. I wonder who did that. <laughs> Probably some lovely pirates. Okay, anything in this belt? I'm looking around here, trying to keep an open mind on what could be in this asteroid belt. Oh, oh! Rocky asteroid! Yay! Nice. Asteroid unusually sculpted and artistic appearance. Wait, what? With many long sweeping curves? Oh. Ah, you know, that makes sense. While scanning the asteroid field in the Matano system, you discovered a badly damaged ship. The recon team found no survivors on board, but they did find a Prothean data disk. Nice. I wonder how many data disks in that there actually are in this game. Anyways, let's get down to Chaska. It seems like that's my destination, so... Let's see what we can find. Something's down there. Mm, who do I want to take? No, I'll, I'll keep taking... Garrison Tally for right now, just because I do want the tech, and if we're lucky, 
we'll be able to unlock some items that I can really, really use. So I'll do Chaska, and then we'll head over to the next sector. Welcome to Chaska. This is a... Oh, wow. They weren't kidding. This is a beautiful planet. They were not joking. <laughs> like, look at this thing. So what is this, these rings they were speaking of? I don't see any rings or anything in the sky anyways. All right. Uh, there's an anomaly over there we can go check out quick. Fine. Then we can get to the debris and then the civilian structures. So which mission is this example? Investigation the samples? Ah, okay, yeah, so Matano. And then this one is the Nordicrux one. Alright. Alright, let's go see what we find. We got a lot of rock hopping to do. <laughs> By the looks of it, anyways. Giant rocks to just bounce over. A lovely planet, though. I like the design of this one. The mountainous structures look very nice. God, this would be a pain, though. I... I'm actually kind of happy in the second game. You get, like, a vehicle that hovers, because, man, that would make life out here so much easier. Uh-oh. Oh, this is not where I want to be. Please let me up. Let me up. Let me up. Let me up, up, up. Let me up, up, up. Let me up, up, up. I'm not on fire. Ah, crap. Crap, 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 crap. Ah, oh, damn it. It's gonna be one of these planets, eh? Alright. Don't get me wrong, I love the Mako, but this is ridiculous. Well, I think throughout this entire video for this planet, I'm just going to skip the exploration because it's going to be even a bitch for me to get up here. So, hey, I'll see you guys when I get to the anomalies and other stuff. <laughs> okay, so, over my trial and error, I finally made it to this anomaly. Good job, me. Oh, hello. This is a Prothean structure? By the looks of it? Now, what a oh, what were you boys doing over here? Alright, well, we'll check this out and then we'll head that way. This is a nice little spot, though. Dude, you got a good view from up here, man. I like it. I mean, it's not the best place in the world, but hey, I'll take it. Ooh, medium armor, human. Heavy armor, human. Heavy armor, human. New heavy armors. Yes. I can't wear them, can I? <laughs> nah, no, not really. Uh, they'll be useful for some of the other people, though. Oh, well. So there's one medium, one human. Hello. S recover. Alright, what do we got? I'm assuming this is a Prothean data disk. Yeah, I was right. There are several small Prothean artifacts in this crate, including an intact Prothean data disk. It appears to be in excellent condition. Perfect. And some more weapons, hopefully, in this crate, or something in this crate that I will happily take. Wasn't Cerber... No, this is something else. Pistol, brawler, light terrain armor. Nice. I doubt Garrus will be impressed. Yeah, no, nah, I didn't think so. <laughs> the terrain armor he's wearing already is uh, pretty good as far as I'm concerned. So we don't need to worry about that. However, the pistols. Was it a pistol? It's a pistol and something else, I think. Or it's just two pistols. Ah, whatever. That's fine. We're not going to worry about that. Alright, so that's done. We can get out of here now. I just want to take a peek, because sometimes, for some odd reason, there's like the tips of this would have something, but I guess not. Oh god, that is actually a beautiful sight. I like that. I like that a lot. Alright, let's head on to the next little thing over here. I'm hoping this won't be full of mountains that are going to drag me down to the bottom of nowhere this time. And it looks like I was wrong. Uh, maybe not. Actually, that looks a lot more doable than what the other way is, so I can go over there. So I'll just meet you guys there at the debris and then over at the thing we need to get. Oh, there's also minerals over here. Might as well grab these. 
Ah, shit. Damn it. Oh boy. Mistakes were made here. Mistakes were made. I regret everything. <laughs> Yee hoo. Uh, might as well grab that. Besides, our objective is literally just over there. And that doesn't look like a big area to get in, so. Yee haw! Not gonna break the Mako, I promise! Ow! Okay, I deserve that. So what is going on over there? Oh no, not upside down, please. Okay, there we go. Ah, oh, god, don't break the Mako. This is all I ask. I've, I've been through that once, I don't want to do it again. <laughs> this game has its moments when you do that, honestly. I'm actually very curious if all of these transfer over to the uh, second game, though. Oh man, I really wanted that debris, but I guess I'll just have to settle for uh, this base. I'm assuming the debris are over in the mountains. Yellow! Honey, I'm home! Oh no. More husks! More husks! Gotta be kidding me. Oh, God, when do these colonists learn, man? Don't mess with the creepy blue stuff. <laughs> Not that blue stuff. But no, don't mess with the creepy in technology. Creepy in? Creepy. Well, this looks like a whole area I'm gonna be taking care of then. Somebody's gonna get to know about it. Hopefully. Rest in peace to those colonists, though. Unless somebody led them to this. Hmm. You, lead, I'll you got it, Tally. Well, let's go digging and see what we need to find over here. It seems there's three colonies. Civilian structure, civilian structure. Yeah. So I guess we'll have to investigate all three of them. See what each of these have. Hopefully it's not that bad. Not holding out hope though here for this one. If this entire structure was overtaken, then yeah, they're gone. So let's see what is going on now. Colony of the Dead. Search for clues. Fight your way through the hostile transformed colonists while searching for clues. They must have brought something with them. Or somebody set this up. Uh, Tally, Garrus, Garrus, you can set back up to that. Tally, you should be good. I'm gonna actually set you to pistol. Let's take out these husks and find out what the hell's going on. Damn it! I'm trying to rush through this location so we can get out of here. Top floor. Thank you, Garrus. Ooh, boy. One more husk to go. Where are you hiding? There you are. Thank you, Garrus. Appreciate that. Alright, let's go take a clue up in this building and see what we have. What were they up to? And why did they think it was a great idea to probably mess with whatever's here? I wonder if it has something to do with that Prothean data disk as the anomaly. I'm curious now, to be honest. There's nothing here. Interesting. Well, this building is apparently off limits then. Alright, nothing here. Let's go to the next one. More armor, of course. Gear. Any sort of comms or computer in this building? Nothing? Not a thing, just... Crates. Okay. I'll look into this stuff, I guess. Sludge canister? Okay, for a moment there I thought that was something completely different. Huh. Alright, well this building's off. Let's go. Don't think we're gonna find anything here. Nah, let's go. Next building. So 
Somebody was doing something down here, though, that's for sure. So the next building is over there, and then one of them seems to be up on the mountainside. Great. This is not what I want at all. I don't want to do more mountain climbing, man. Not like this. Ah, uh, yep, I see the spikes already. Well, here, we might as well go... No. Let's clear out this facility. Maybe there's some sort of geth trap that happened here, huh? Possibility. Geth came here, took everybody, made them into husks. That's a strong possibility in my mind. Got them. Not gonna lie. I don't think it's quick, is it? To be turned into a husk. Ugh. Take these things down, man. Don't let them grab you. Don't let them get you. Good kill, good kill. Two more, one more to go, I think, up top. Ugh. Husks, dude. There he is. Got him. Clear. Alright, well, this base is cleared. Nothing active at all. Not even the door. That's really weird. Somebody or something was here and didn't want anybody finding out. No, even that one's offline. What the hell gives? Somebody had to know of something here. Right? There has to be something. Honestly, I could probably use the Omni Gel. I have way too much of it. He's as far as I know. I don't actually know how to check your Omni Gel, how much you have. Then again, probably not worth it. Alright, well, got everything from in here. This one's out. No doors, though, huh? Not a single thing in this facility. The only thing I've seen is the teeth, and that's it. Well, we'll go clear out that last one and be done with it. That means that population of 850 people, or 150 people, that population's zero right now. There's no one left. Damn. Alright, one more building to clear out and then we're good. At least we'll know what happened here, hopefully. Still, those transmissions. I got a bad feeling, man. Whatever's up there, that one has quite a few enemies. Now, they're either Geth or... They're those husks again, who knows. Maybe this colony ended up stumbling upon a bad little sector. Guess I'll never know. Oh yeah, they're husks. Take them out. Nice thing is, we're in a tank. And these things can't really deal with a tank. Huh. Okay, so there's an underground facility. That makes more sense, actually. Alright, let's check it. What kind of messed up experiments were you all doing down here? That's gift technology. Not the spikes, though. I don't like this already. Anyone home? Other than the hundreds of unfortunately light boys that are going to be down here. That one's out. Take it out. Man, flanking them was a good idea. The only thing I don't like is in this game, the husks, they, <laughs> they run around in circles. Oh, Jesus. 
Good kill, good kill. Finish those two off. Sorry, Garrus. Alright, well there we go. We're in. Now to find out what in the world they were doing here. Is that a computer system? Looks like it. None of this is online, not a thing. Weird. Creepy, but weird. Ah, uh, guess we're looking for is in that room. Okay, I'll check it in a moment. I want to check this side first, see if there's anything else. Wow, that's that's not creepy at all. There's the terminal. That whole room had nothing in it. I don't know. Maybe uh, they were using it for storage space? I don't know. Check that comm in just a moment. Give me a second to figure out what else is here. There we go. Okay, so that's all the equipment. Other than the malfunctioning trash can that we found, again. <laughs> so what did they do here? A Connell Pioneer team rarely consists of more than a few dozen specialists. It's clear that none of them have survived. The Cerberus group has a lot to answer for here. Damn it, this is Cerberus again. Of course it is. I forgot which one was Cerberus, and I guess this was the Cerberus mission. Alright, well. Now we know. They must have done this to the entire colony. In what? Finding a way to stop whatever it is they want to, I'm assuming? I don't know. Cerberus is messed up, man. We think we've already established the Cerberus group as a horrible threat. Alright, well this planet's done. We're done here. We'll head to the last one and then be gone. Man. It's like you just can't get any ground against Cerberus. Whatsoever. Damn. Alright. Off world. Let's go. Uh, we'll head to the next one here. I wonder if Admiral Hackett would like to know any information on that. That'd be pretty great. Okay. See you later, Chaska. We're off to the next one. The Vostok. Vostok area. Let's see what we got. Oh, an asteroid belt. Anything good in it? Oh. Metallic asteroid. Nice. And metal rich. Heavy metals. Cool, cool. Take that. Kind of wish these systems showed up a little later, but oh well. What do we got? Ah, there's not a crux. That's the one we need to go to. Uh, Clamarthu. Uh, there's a reducing atmosphere of methane and nitrogen. The surface is hot and mainly composed of sodium and deposits of uranium. In terms of size and orbit, Clamarthu is a virtual twin of Earth, but utterly lacks life. Dang. Wow. Hmm. Sounds like a wonderful world. Geological properties of Alco have been scanned from orbit, but little else is known about it. Fairly typical mix outer system, terrestrial of rock and ice. Alco has a trace atmosphere of krypton and xenon. Its crust is composed of silicates and water ice with deposits of aluminum. Unregistered starship traffic has been recorded in the vicinity of this planet. Travel is not advised. I'll take you on your word for that one. <laughs> Potatum, potassium, potassium, rather small hydrogen, helium. Okay, so nothing good here. Matrix writings, though. Scans of potatum, potate, potassium? I don't know. Reveal a strange unmanned vessel in orbit around the planet. Tally brought it on board and determined it was a sorry made but very old. She discovered several ancient artifacts inside the vessel, including one of Matrix Donaga's writings. Those writings are still going strong, man. I found so many of those. Looks like we've got an active Jesus. distress beacon on the planet below, Commander. No message, just a locator signal. Thank you, Joker. <laughs> God! That just scared the shit out of me. 
<laughs> Who would have thought I'd been scared by Joker messaging me? It's a verdant world with abundant water, temperate climate, thick nitrogen, oxygen, atmosphere, and rich ecosystem. It would seem to be perfect for life. The relatively high percentage of oxygen makes humans feel energized and alive. Though it has also f allowed insect analogs to grow on uh, frightful sizes. Ooh. Unfortunately, not a crux is a case of almost not quite thunderstorms are as common as an earth. But in Nauticrox's thicker, oxygen-rich atmosphere, they are deafening and spark constant wildfires. Oh, that sucks. More damning, however, are the large and unubiquitous tufts of pollen that float on the high-pressure air in human uh, air. In humans and other oxygen-breathing species, they cause severe or lethal allergic reactions. Jesus. I mean, I don't want to live here, but hey, let's go take a look anyway, so we're going down there. Let's go! That's horrible, though. Feel kind of bad. Tally, Garrus, mount up, we're going in. One more world to explore, and that seems to be the end of the side quest for now. Let's go take a peek and see what's down here, though. Anything of any use? What do we got? Doesn't seem as tall as the sections we went to before. We got something over there. What the? F really? Right off the bat? Enemy life forms? What? What the hell? What did I miss over here? Oh dear god, no. Thorian creepers. Of course. Let's make away with those, thank you. Check the building up here. Eh, I prefer to not deal with these things again, but we're going in anyways. Especially with the running in circle one. I like those. The running in circle, every time, they're just... I don't know, they're funny as fuck to me, I don't know why. Every time they do their little run around, it's like, oh, that's kind of cute in a disturbing kind of way. What is this? An old base. Nothing much left of anybody, huh? All dead, I take it. Dude, it's a good thing I still have Omni Gel. I haven't even used it yet. At least as far as I remember. I think I maybe used it for one or two things. You know, screw it. I'm going to use some Omni Gel here. I think I have a lot anyways, so I think we're good. Okay, that's done. Now what? Right, the anomaly. Do I want to worry about that? Mm, I might as well go grab it. Look, I'll, I'll grab as many minerals as I can. I don't need them now anymore, but I see things, I need them. <laughs> that's what this has come down to now. This game is slowly putting me into, like, collecting of everything and anything at any cost. If it's there and it exists, I'm going to go get it. <laughs> uh, thank you, Mass Effect. I love you for that. Oh, God. I'm probably going to have to go back up to orbit and then come back down here again, because I do not feel like climbing this entire mountain all over again. Oh, dear God. Yeah, no. There's no way. I am going to go back to orbit and come back here. <laughs> I made the mistake of coming down here, but this is my own fault. Yeah, no, I'm not climbing that. Easier way, just get up and get out. There. I'll just grab these and be on my way. Thank you. There. All right. I didn't need that, but I, I wanted to anyway. So, all right, I'm going to do that, and I'll see you in a sec. Okay, so I got back, made it to the anomaly. I see that we have something here. What do we got? Hopefully some sort of good old ancient artifact, I'm assuming. Turian insignia! This escape pod is half buried in material that was washed down from the mountaintops. Though it has obviously been here for centuries, the computer still has power. Linking in with your hard suit, you recover a batch of files containing data on the Thracia colony. 
Ooh. Okay, that's kind of cool. So this is a colony that was here already. Nice. Oh yeah, I just realized that we can't actually... Because of the pollen. Right. We can't actually wear... Or not wear our helmets in that. Because of the pollen out here, it'll kill us, technically. Especially if you have allergies. But... Alright, I'm heading to the next section here. There's a little module that I'll get for some supplies. And then we're going to head off to whatever it is we're supposed to be finding here. But my best bet is we're not going to find something good. No, no, no. We are looking at something pretty rough around the edges. Especially if the Thorian is here. Or the Thorian monstrosities. Is this another plan by Cerberus, out of curiosity? Because I feel like it is. It seems every time there's some sort of horrible conspiracy, either it's by... Exogeny, Cerberus, or something else, and I have to put a stop to it. Oh, hello, what are you? You look interesting. I wouldn't say cute, but interesting. There's some sort of fauna life on this world. What do you know? All right, what do we got? I did not mean to do that. Let me do my thing. Thank you. Got it. Ooh, shield interface and medical exoskeleton. Not what I wanted, but sure. Alright, onwards to that anomaly. So, scientific facility, huh? What were you guys up to? Let's go find out, shall we? Just, oh man. Why is it always on the other side of a giant mountainside, man? Why do these? Oh well, at least this one it seems a little bit easier to climb up. Than the previous one, anyways. You know which one I'm talking about. The one we str I struggled with to get over. Just to find out that we were pretty much falling into some sort of geth trap of some kind. Okay, hold on. Turn around. Do this. And then boost it up. Ah, there we go. That's better. That's much better. Let me guess. Thorian, eh? More Thorian colonists and some sort of unfortunate plan. Or a Thorian facility. Hello! What have we here? Seems like a mess. That's what we have. Hey! Get back here! You little cretin. He's running away from me! I don't... I don't... Okay. I don't get what that Thorian Creeper's plan was, but okay. Oop. Didn't mean to do that. Anyways, welcome to the facility. I'm not excited to find what's inside. Don't think any of us are. Right, Tally? Right, Karis? <laughs> Let's go. Of course, this is going to be bad. There's always something bad in these facilities. What the fuck? Oh, no. But the Thorian's dead. It can't do anything, right? Right. They hatched from that. That's not good. Move it up. Ah, great. Here they come. At least these things are more or less just zombies. And not some unhuman monstrosity like... Well, actually, that's, that's a lie. I take it back. These things are completely on par with space zombies. The other ones are just machines. Pretty much. Oh, right. They poison you. Doesn't seem like they can infect you. They just either poison you or they claw at you to kill you. Thank you, Garrus. Appreciate that. Good kill. Always trust my boy with the sniper. <laughs> I don't know where Tally is. Tally is chilling. I don't know where she went. Tally, where are you hiding? We need your help. Please. And went home. Oh, why? Yeah, that's not good. Somebody got desecrated here. Oh, they were keeping Thorian in those pods, weren't they? You fools. You damned fools. Why does everybody think this is a good idea? 
Don't ever put stuff like that in a pod and think it's not gonna get out, it'll be fine! Only for it to get out like two minutes later and then everybody is screwed and running for their lives. You know how it be. Let's use Omni Gel because I don't, I'm not gonna worry about that right now. I have enough Omni Gel, I think, for a little bit. It's mostly just for repairing the Mako now. The Rescue? Hi! Oh, thank God. See? I told you somebody would come to investigate that signal. My name is Dr. Ross. Chief Exogeny researcher at this facility. Hi, what are you doing here? For days. We're almost out of food and water. You got here just in time. Well, you're okay now. We're here to help you. I need to know what's going on. Why is this place crawling with Thorian creepers? How do you know about the Thorian? I've seen it. We dealt with it. I know what Exogeny was up to. I saw what they let the Thorian do to those colonists. So I destroyed it. It's gone. Our secret's out then. No point in my lying. You already know the worst. The creepers here were created using altered samples from the specimens on Pharos. Why would you we do that? We discovered a way to turn them into docile, obedient servants. Oh my god, no! Everything was going fine until a few days ago. Then all the creepers suddenly went berserk. Only a handful of us made it back into the safety of this room. Generic distress signal? Why didn't you send a clear message asking for help? All we had was that signal from the emergency beacon. Yeah, you should have sent a wideband. This wide is band. a closed communications base. Exogeny was worried about someone on the project selling secrets to a rival firm or reporting our work to the authorities. We have no you direct communication say. with the outside, only the emergency beacon. It sends a general distress signal to the Exogeny site on Pharos. They're supposed to send a team to respond inside of 24 hours, but it sounds like they had problems of their own. You don't say. They had a lot of problems. Berserk creepers. What's going on with Any those? Any idea why they turned on you? Maybe there was still some kind of link between the Creepers and the Thorian back on Pharos. So when the Thorian, the Thorian died... It was unlike any other life form we've ever studied. I can't explain how, but maybe when it died, it, it somehow set off the Creepers here. I wouldn't be surprised of that. Any other survivors? Any chance some of the other people at the base might still be alive? Hmm, I doubt it. Too many Creepers out there. They never stood a chance. We're the only ones left. Alright, so now, what do I do with you? I've heard all I need to. Look, I know what we did here was wrong. I'll admit that. But it's over now. There's no sense reporting this to the authorities, right? Uh, wrong. I'm sorry, this is going full report because of what you did to these people. You were in charge of this project. The safety <sighs> of the staff was your responsibility. They trusted you, and you betrayed that trust. Be reasonable. I didn't mean for this to happen. Besides, how does it help anyone if I end up in jail? Simple. It doesn't happen bad, again. But it sounds like they're going to have their hands full cleaning up the mess on Pharos. But I've got money. A nice little emergency fund I set up. It's yours if you let us go. No. 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 Not happening. The victims here deserve justice. I have to take you in. Uh... That's not going to happen. Well, then I guess Open we have a problem. Open fire. Exogeny scumbags. <laughs> Open fire, she says, gets blown up like crazy. Uh, Exogeny's second rate mercs proved no match for trained Alliance Marines with that last. The science crew dead. There's no reason to linger. Roger that. Okay, let's get out of here. Exogeny's done at this point. What they did here is unacceptable. So, let's make sure it doesn't happen ever again. Alright, let's move back. We're good. I am going to go check out one little thing because I missed something back there on the planet. Uh, I'm hoping it's not too serious, but I will take a quick peek at it. So, I'll see you there since I didn't really get to look at it. Okay, so I took a look around seeing what I was trying to find out and sadly, wasn't there. I thought it was something completely different, but uh, that was just me being deceived by my own idiocy, of course, so good times. But ladies and gentlemen, I do believe that uh, that calls off this area. These two spots are done now. Pharos is done. Novaria is done. So we still have Vermeyer to head to, and we have something over here to deal with in the Exodus Cluster. Because that's not creepy enough. I want to go to local cluster quickly and see if uh, anything pops up there. I know we had something weird by Admiral Hackett last time show up, so I wonder if anything else will. 
Probably not. Curious, though. Nah, I didn't think so. That's fine. Uh, Alright then, let's head to the Exodus Cluster, and then I think that... We have to go to the Asteroid. Did I even check out the other cluster that was here? Utopia. Did I not look at that? I thought I did. Sounds familiar. Arcadia. There's actually a planet called Arcadia. Interesting. Oh yeah, Eden Prime and all those are over here. That's that's right. I'm stupid. Yeah, uh, Zion, Eucadia, Eden Prime. Never mind, this was a pointless gesture of going here. So let me head here. That's the next zone we need to go to, so. There it is, Asteroid X-57, Tier. Uh, composition quite similar to Earth, however, it lies over 4 AU from Asgard and possesses an atmosphere primarily opposed of nitrogen and ethane. While a potential target for terraforming, the presence of the shirt sleeves, habitable Terra Nova, and the same system rate are rele relegated Tier to the support role. Nearly 100 corporations, human and alien, have constructed extensive tele teleoperated mining, refining, and manufacturing facilities across the face of Tyr. Combined with the pla pl ah, platinum myodes of Terra Nova, the resources they produce, driving development of the local hydrogen fuel cell industries, the Asgard system now supplies nearly 4% of the galactic market. Nice! I mean, that's cool. Not what I was looking for, but cool. Terra Nova. Whoa. Terra Nova was one of the Class I colonization prospects discovered by the first wave of Alliance surveyors in 2150. It was the second human extrasolar colony and the first beyond the Charon mass relay. Currently has the highest population of any Alliance colony, though banded by a harsh equatorial desert area closer to the poles and temperate, the pace of development was modest until extensive deposits of plat pl yeah, platinum were discovered in the 2170s. This rare metal required an in-cleaning burning hydrogen fuel cells that power private vehicles a attracted a platinum rush of immigrants and investment from throughout Alliance space. In the past 12 years, Terra Nova has seen a 30% rise in population, and growth does not appear to be slowing. Jesus, 4.4 4 million. Capital Scott. I like that. The capital is just named Scott. And finally, Boar. Boar is a huge hydrogen helium gas giant with over 90 moons. Its striking coloration is caused by the light of ionized hydrogen filtering through the upper cloud deck and sodium. The source of the ionization has not yet been confirmed, but Boar's mass equal to six Jupiters, and a high temperature suggests it may be a small brown dwarf, a large gas giant that gained nearly enough mass to ignite into a small star. The Boar's deep gravity well makes mining operations difficult. It is the only gas giant in the system that hydrogen needed for the lo local fuel cell industry, combined with the ever-present need for helium-3 fusion torch fuel makes it economical to mine. Pretty good then. Alright, well... I think uh, that about concludes everything for today, for these ones. So next time, before we go to Vermeer, we have an asteroid to take care of. That's going to be a fun one, isn't it? Here's a hoping it doesn't go that well, though. But we do have Asteroid 57 to look after. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to close off this episode here. We did our little explorations. It was good. And we'll see how it all turns out next time, shall we? Have a good one, everybody.